Hello everyone, and today we have to repair 1080 Mini graphic card. Uh, the story about this graphic card is unknown because uh, I would guess bought this card from eBay in a broken condition and uh, uh, was rejected uh, when he was trying to return it under the warranty. Uh, before we start doing our repair process and diagnostic, let's just have a couple words about this graphic card. Um, we usually don't recommend those graphic cards and I actually have on me other graphic card in a mini solution, this is a 1070 Ti. And those graphic cards, we call them uh, hot potatoes. Um, because they are in the size of a potato and uh, those cards getting really hot not just in the area of a GPU the whole card is getting hot um, even just think about it those cards they uh, they have uh, same specifications same characteristics as their reference cards um, and uh, decreasing them in size eventually will increase the temperature on a card in general um, therefore, what we usually recommend if you eventually uh, ending up or, uh, buying those this graphic card, getting this graphic card, uh, we are recommending thinking and a smart thinking of a cooling system of your tower in general. Uh, so it cools down, this graphic card cools down, not just with this little fan and a smaller radiator, but also cools down by a uh, cooling system of your tower. That's it for now. Let's uh, plug it in and uh, confirm our problem. Plug in our card. Oh, this one is 8 pin connector. Our postcard. And the screen. Okay. Looks like everything plugged in. Just double check. Yep, good to go. Thirteen to A to E. Now we can see our card got detected, but is it uh, doesn't bypass our postcode bias postcode to E. And the fin fan is spinning, and but there is nothing on the screen. So far, what I could tell that uh, we do have our main powers, but we don't have, or partially don't have the power to our chip. So let's uh, open it up and have a closer look. Okay, now let's see how our card is acting up. Our chip is uh, slightly getting warm, but in a range of safety for it. So let's start from our main powers and the 12 volt from our PCI Express connector we have it and then from our power connector we also have it. Uh, next let's come down to our 5 volt phase and they're good. Uh, 3.3 volts is better measure up on a power to our driver and uh, that's present. Uh, let's just really quick have a peek on the power to our bias flash, which should be 1.8 volt. Okay, okay. Uh, next, chip is a little bit warmed up. Let's just give it a little bit time to chill it out. Okay, uh, let's uh, now see power to our chip. Straight and forward, let's see our main power and. And here we go. Nothingness. Let's see power to our memory. And uh, we don't have to be scared that instead of 1.5 we have 1.3 because this is a GDDR 5X. Uh, this is a relatively pretty much new memory if my memory <laughs> not uh, 
mistaken and they started producing them from 2016 and this memory is better in the three ways first one is their uh, capacity is increased the second is their data transfer in a twice bigger uh, it has uh, 13 14 gigabit per second in compare with the 7 8 uh, on a GDR of 5 and also uh, energy saving been increased and still 1.5 volts we that's what we are having right now with 1.3 so we have perfect power on the memory phase next let's see our um, PCI Express 1 volt also present and our loop phase 1.8 awesome so um, what it looks like we only want power which we are missing is a power to our GPU and now uh, let's see our resistance on our card so we are sure that we are not dealing with our short or uh, lower resistance sir and let's start from our chip uh, our memory uh, let's start from our memory is there our power to our memory is a two-faced and uh, it doesn't matter on what phase we will measure it up because those phases are in a parallel and uh, as a uh, hundred four ohms which is perfect for those are graphic cards and with this memory uh, on our PCI Express we have uh, 83 ohms which is perfect um, also uh, we can uh, we will check uh, uh, the resistance on our chip but uh, we won't be able to tell a lot by this resistance because resistance for those chips they are not it's not that uh, it's not supposed to be high uh, but I already checked it with the power supply behind the camera uh, and they already showed in one video how do I do that and uh, our power supply doesn't go into defender mode so we're, we are given about 90% that our chip is uh, in a working condition is good next uh, what we will check is uh, um, also behind there uh, we have one face which is our loop uh, and uh, oh, give me a second okay and we have here perfect um, about the kilo of course, first what comes to the mind to check is our DR most that's uh, in 50-60% uh, of the case we are dealing with uh, when we have issues, uh, power issues to our GPU. As we know, our DR most contains uh, two transistors, top and a button shoulder. And the top shoulder we will be checking on a 6 pin, that's our gate high, our source is located on a signal switch node, which is from 29th pin to our 35th pin, that's a source for our top shoulder. Button shoulder we will be checking on a gate low uh, 36 pin and anywhere where we will be able to find, and the source is located anywhere where we will be able to find the ground. That's about resistance, about powers, actually half of the powers we already have checked such as uh, the in, uh, that's a 12 volt line and um, uh, that's where our GPU takes a uh, current um, and it's present uh, uh, v DRV that's a uh, 5 volt line uh, uh, and uh, it powers up our driver VC and also 5 volt line also powers up our driver but it powers up a logical part of it what signals we will be going through uh, is a disable uh, mm, it's a, uh, it basically uh, enables uh, our DR modes uh, and we should have a high level over here um, is a, a smooth it controls uh, our uh, lower shoulder 
and a PVM. On a PVM, the way basically how it works on a disable and S mode, we should have a high level, and uh, um, on a PVM, we should have already a beautiful impulses, which are um, basically a data transfer from our main controller. Um, okay, and there. Uh, yeah, I just probably saw somewhere. That's as far as I'm knowing how it works. And here we can see a table. Uh, basically, I uh, would disable a mode, a high level, and by three states of a PVM, we already controlling our keys. Um, okay. Let's start from our top shoulders and the first key. Here we good. Same well you good. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh yeah, top shoulders look like a lot. Let's then keep measuring our lower shoulders. That will be a little bit easier. First one is good. Mm -hmm. Resistance uh, didn't really show us a lot, um, and I also a little bit went over how we do our MOSs, and uh, nothing so far could be found. Uh, therefore, we will proceed measuring our powers, uh, and uh, if we eventually end up measuring our um, PVM pin, it's better doing it with the oscilloscope, and that's why uh, we brought it down. Okay, let's start from our way enable. Just give me a little bit of time. It, it, I want to hit a right pin. Yeah. Okay, and we have a high level. Let's uh, check our S mode. And on S mode we have a beautiful high level. So while we driver is in a ready condition and now let's see what kind of uh, impulses he gets. Mm -hmm. Let me just catch it up. How we can see our driver gets or some bunch of impulses, but this is more looks like a gibberish. Uh, and um, of course, our driver can be controlled by it because how we can see uh, at least amplitude for this uh, impulses is about uh, 20 30 millivolts. Unfortunately, after all our measurings, what it looks like, we are looking for our problem not in the right place. 
Um, I actually was hoping that uh, we um, would have a problem with one of our Jarmoses because uh, there's nothing spe specific about them. Um, this is a 6788 and uh, um, those are and, uh, similar to them I've seen on multiple other graphic cards uh, starting from 780s. Also, uh, I'd like to say there is no warranty that we will be able to fix this graphic card um, due to not having a schematic or any other diagram and I actually might apply right now to the most common uh, ask question which is uh, sharing a schematic. Uh, schematics for graphic cards are available only for authorized repair stores uh, which I'm not, I don't even work here right now at any repair store. I used to work in a small repair shops. Uh, only one time I tried to uh, apply to a huge one, if I'm saying the name right, it was the Lewis uh, Rosman. Uh, and uh, I gotta admit, I've never seen his uh, or any other. Um, English uh, repair channels. Uh, I just heard that he is good and I tried to uh, apply to him. I came down, I talked to him, he said that I'm good, took my number but never gave me a call back. Uh, so uh, due to my experience I don't uh, possess uh, any uh, data sheets for those graphic cards. Uh, the next hour step is uh, will be um, see our uh, main controller. That's where we are getting our PVM, and I already uh, got a data sheet for this controller. Mm, there is actually lots of pins which will we have to go through, but we will start from a simpler uh, step by step. First step is uh, measuring our power. Um, our controller gets uh, power from a 5 volt line on a 12 pin. And we have 4.2 volts. And that's not enough, it's not supposed to be lower than 5 volts. Well, in this uh, case, uh, having a schematic would really help us track our problem um, how we could already make sure we have a 5 volt 5 volt is present on our graphic card but to our controller we get only 4.2 volts everything what we can do is uh, double have a look on our um, data sheet for our controller and uh, on our next page is a located a typical application circuit. That's basically how our controller usually applies in the circuit. And how we can see is a power pin gets connected to a power circuit through a resistor. And if we go to a pin description, it says that 12 pin V5 VCC supply input for the IC connect this pin to a 5 voltage source with a 2.2 resistor and um, one microfarad filter um, I do not know how it's seen on the camera but thankfully our 12 pin is uh, kind of visible um, the, the track of it is kind of visible and uh, this uh, track uh, is a continuity for this 12 pin and it leads to uh, what it looks like this is our one microfarad filter and uh, this is our resistor what we are interested in and now let's see a resistance uh, for this resistor which we have 2.2 ohms and we have uh, about 2 kilo ohms resistor Okay, and now uh, let's put our card into our test stand. Plug in our screen, power. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just uh, uh, jump over resistor with the tweezers. Uh, uh, I'm taking the whole responsibility on myself. Of course, I do not recommend doing it. 
because that might lead to burning our controller or in the worst case scenario the whole graphic card in itself but I don't have explanation why I still want to jump it um, let, let it be experience for us um, let's just see that our card still does the same and uh, not giving us any image yep same thing and chip just slightly gonna work graphic card wasn't accepted under the warranty um, and this is my conversation with the owner of this graphic card anyway got the GTX 1080 back from Gigabyte finally previous and he just explained what happened in compared with the Apple store which uh, they just verbally tell you the reason why they don't want to swap your device or they just basically tell you no uh, with the graphic card they actually send your card back with the uh, pointing area uh, with which uh, under which uh, they can uh, replace your card uh, under the warranty uh, so this area it was over here so this is it when I got it, it was uh, two stickers over here but to be honest it looked just a little bit dusty as for me it wasn't rusty I just brushed it a couple times and it looks nice and neat as for me after that I didn't even pay attention on this area anymore because I mean it looks good um, also another uh, sticker which was here and I already removed it so it doesn't um, disturb uh, for the diagnostic it was if you see a circle over here so here was there another sticker it was pointing somewhere over here also I'm not sure what it was pointing as for me everything looks nice our card is up and running and as always I already did play games for a couple hours with it and already run a, a lot of stress tests so far it's holding up in a GPU Z how we can see a driver being installed perfectly fine and it's complete 1080 how we can see by characteristics and let's just run together stress test It's holding okay, I'd say, and uh, how we can see there is a uh, temperature increasing pretty smoothly. And it's, I expected it to be a little bit more noisier, so it's pretty calm card. Uh, thank you for watching as always. Sir. Please put likes, dislikes, subscribe for more repairs and put your comments below. Thank you very much.